Hi, uh, welcome back to me vegetable garden. Welcome back on this glorious day. It's the 25th of September. Um, and, well, as you can see, sun is beaten down. Really beautiful day. Few things have arrived in the post. Uh, so I thought I'd make a couple of clips just to show you what's going on. Okay, so we'll get straight into it. The first thing, I want to show you is my Marco garlic and as you can see the tree is here and the reason I'm showing you this is because it's been uh, a week since uh, I put these in the soil and they are already producing roots now it doesn't look particularly obvious looking at them but if you look at that one he's practically out the soil and that one is out the soil there's the base plate there so what I'll do is very carefully very very carefully as you can see there There's the roots, and the roots have grown downwards, and it's ended up pushing the garlic up. Now that's okay, don't mind that, but at least I know that one's fired, and this one here is fired, um, and it will be the same for all of them. I mean, I can't pull these, these won't come out now, these are wet, I'm not tugging particularly hard but these should come out quite easily and they're not budging at all so all these, if there's a little one, this is a little one so I don't mind sacrificing him but I've got a really, I am really tugging this now and he just will not, he won't budge. So uh, I'll, I'll leave it just to have a little look now, I know it's coming through the bottom yet. Um, but yeah. Now, doesn't want to come, which is good. It means they've already got a good root system in there. So yeah, so that's me Marco garlic already producing roots, which is good. Uh, so it'll only be, I would say, another week. Uh, if that, before these are ready to be transplanted into uh, the various pots that I've got available now uh, so that's good the shallots are still in my garage so uh, but they are shown no signs yet but it's still only a week so it's early days but these mock or garlics are off to a flyer and the other thing is my delivery and it's from Live Seeds and it's more garlic. This is me Solent White that I ordered from Live Seeds and I ordered three cloves um, 
and I expected to get clothes delivered but this came in a flat package so I thought funny but then when I opened it they've already been removed from the bulb and there is the equivalent of three bulbs there I don't know if you can make that out very well it's lots of shade going on so yeah uh, and these cloves look really big and healthy there's one or two like that one there he's a small fella well I say small I mean some of the garlic I've grown has been smaller than that so but uh, generally they're all good size I mean there's a me finger to compare it with um, really good size and look really healthy so there's another one and there's my finger there so really pleased with these I think these would be really good um, you get about 8 to 10 well the, the instructions that came with it said you roughly get 8 to 10 cloves to a bulb and in each of these packs there's 12 so they actually give you two extra um, and their explanation is uh, they just is, uh, because they have removed them from the bulbs themselves so people don't end up damaging the root plate and what have you they do it and uh, they just give you a couple of extra um, because of it at least that's what they say so I've got three, I'll do a little experiment, what I'll do is um, I'll put ten, ten or so in a tray like this and start them off. I'll do one packet which is another ten or so and I'll put them straight outside into that container there and they can be outside over the winter uh, to the elements um, and that to sort of outdoor control um, obviously the ones I put in the tray they'll get a good start um, inside the garage where it's a bit warmer uh, and away from the elements and then once they've grown on like these I'll put them in pots but then I'll keep them in the greenhouse um, over the winter so they're protected so I'll have protected some outside and then the other ten what I'll do is um, I'll keep them uh, stored in a cool dry place um, till maybe a bit closer to December um, I'll see how the store if the, the if the carry on being okay then I'll keep them maybe even as long as early spring um, or late winter and I'll start them off so now at the elements now protected over winter in the greenhouse and start them preferably in the spring but it might be sooner depending on how they store so that's my little experiment for for this winter right well this is my bed that I'm going to put some in to have my carrots in but there as you saw I pulled them up a few days back so it's yeah I'm going to do it is get a handful of fish blood and bone because I'm only really going to do this once uh, and then that's it feed wise and that's just fish blood and bone that's just uh, a balanced uh, five five six so that's just a general feed 
but I'm also just going to add a tiny little bit of extra potash. Uh, oops, there you go. And then it's just a case of working it in. planting the garlic bowl, uh, cloves so that's there just pat it down a little bit just firm the soil a little bit because it's going to get battered by the winds in the autumn and winter so there you go just gentle so these are the garlic cloves and what I'll do is, I'll pick uh, six of the biggest, which I would say was them. Because I think I've just got enough re room really to do six, so it'll be sort of like that. So that will, yeah, that looks about right. So it's just a case of planting them. Oops. So you need the pointy bit at the top and the root plate at the bottom, the flat bit, and then plant it with the root plate down. So just plant it just under there. Same with that one. Go. That's it. It's not really complicated. There you go. It's, it's as complicated as that. So just label this pot and it's there till harvest. This container here, uh, this is, uh, well it's had me turnips in um, and I harvested them. Um, I found a few little grubs um, in, in the roots. Uh, just on one or two of them so I've got rid of the soil I've put fresh I've cleaned this out put fresh in uh, I've put some um, potash and fish blood and bone and I've stuck some of my soil and white garlic cloves in this um, so we'll have uh, direct sown of the cloves that will go in the greenhouse and when I transfer them into the final pot grown containers they'll go in the greenhouse and then there'll be that container there the direct sown into there but they'll stay out over winter so that's uh, my garlic sorted now I've sown all my bulbs that I've got uh, from Poundland they're all planted in amongst the beds for next spring so that's another job done so basically uh, all I'm doing really is just waiting for some more turnips to come carrots seem to be doing really nicely uh, the leeks to come the brussels parsnips and uh, some more cabbage um, and of course me sweet corn uh, which are really starting to come now I mean as you can see there's a few cobs there with uh, the tassels starting to come out on them I mean a lot of them now have the tassels on the top um, but yeah um, as I say loads of them have got the 
the tassels starting to form so I'm hand pollinating these as best I can so hopefully uh, I don't know as each day passes it's looking a bit more hopeful that I will get some sweet corn before the winter gets set in well this here this is my second cabbage that I've harvested it's uh, me gold, I think golden acre Primo 2 uh, nice lovely lush no signs of pests or nothing so I'm quite pleased with that I just wanted to show you this uh, red drum head um, it's a decent size for me it's the first one I've harvested there's still a, quite a few still in the pots there but uh, it's lovely healthy unblemished solid it doesn't budge that uh, so yeah um, there's a bit of um, a bit of red drum head I certainly do well that's it for this video hope you liked it it's just how I'm going to start my garlic this year for hopefully a good harvest next so we'll see how that goes so thanks for watching Please like, comment, subscribe and mean, I'll see you in my next video which is going to be a potato reveal. So stay tuned for that. See you now.